this is just a, a little quick thing and it's kind of continuing on from the sneaker the sneaker discussion we just had but ebay is introducing a new authentication step process for sneakers so because as the sneaker business for uh what, what do you call it? investing it's pretty hot right People are buying, selling, buying, selling. For example, a pair of sneakers that Sumble. sold last year for 240 bucks in Foot Locker. There's one of them that was worth $10,000 this year. What? Yeah. What? Foot Locker in the USA or here? Or, or maybe it wasn't 10000 Maybe it was 2000 Whatever. It was That's worth a, big a, lot, difference. a lot more. Yeah, 8000 But, but <laughs> there's, there are people that spend ten grand on sneakers, right? For mm. example. Sumble, um, yeah, rich now, people. Because obviously sneakers is a good investment at the moment. No, it's not. <laughs> there is, House is a good investment. Yes, but to, to Ray, for example, he buys and sells, buys and sells, buys and sells. Yeah. And he's making quite a bit of money from it. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's a family. That's our family member. Anywho, so there's a lot of fakes happening. Yeah. Because of the fakes, eBay have decided that before sending the sneakers to the customer, they will send it off to the US to an authenticator to check that the product is real now. Stuff Wouldn't that, that make the sneakers much more expensive? Stuff that. Well, how do, how do you know, it disappears? Do you know where I see this going? Where? And probably pretty rapidly as well. Mm. Manufactured sneakers with NFTs attached to them. Yeah. Because that would be an instant authentication. Bitcoin. That's part of the Bitcoin. Bitcoin. It's not a Bitcoin, is it? It's a what is that? It's, it's block blockchain technology. Blockchain. So the NFT non fungible tokens. That's right. Essentially, it's tokens. a way to verify the origin of something. So when say Nike <gasps> makes the shoe, they would attach an NFT to every pair of shoe. Yes. And then whenever it's sold, you'd be able to track exactly where that shoe has been, where it's come from, that it yeah. was actually manufactured from. How, well, I can definitely see that starting to happen. How, how do they um, attach it to the shoe? The NFT? Yeah, the NFT. You wouldn't literally have to attach it to the shoe. Like You'd have it as part of the sale. So when Nike sells it to the store, yeah, then it would be affiliated with that shoe. So they'd have a record of, because each shoe would have like their own barcode or whatever. It'd be registered that barcode or that shoe with that NFT. And then when you oh, sell it to yeah, the yeah, customer. That's what I'm saying. So okay. it's the responsibility of the person who has it yeah. to keep them attached. Yeah. Um, so you, like you could put it underneath the sole. Like, you know how there's an insole? You can put the barcode in there sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's, it's a responsibility then. So if you were a reseller, if yeah. you bought the shoe... It'd be your to, to, to make sure you keep yes. that proof of NFT. I think the NFT would be actually more valuable than the actual shoe then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, eBay has said that they're not going to charge anyone for these, or this authentication process. It will be a free service. It's going to be a multi-point inspection. They'll be verifying the box, sizing labels, soles, stitching logos, heel tabs, laces, and more, such as sniffing the glue to make sure that it is real. They, they must be making... They must have decided that they're going to make a killing from doing this. Because why would you as a business now create a service that you're not going to charge anyone for like that's not a thing people don't mm. do that yeah so they must have decided if we do this we're probably going to get more sneaker sales through us oh. yeah they got to be well, making that money back somehow so what i was saying with ray is he was mentioning that there was a lot of sneakers going missing because in sydney they all go to this particular warehouse mm. i think near stratfield or something like all the sneakers end up there um, to be posted to the customer and a lot were going missing because they've got this Facebook group and there was just heaps going missing. That's just, and you know, people are spending big money, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Once a pair is verified as authentic, the left sneaker receives a unique NFC. <gasps> That's NFT. We're talking about NFTs. Not oh, NFC. Well, the left sneaker receives a unique NFC enabled tag that provides detailed information about the pair's authenticity. Yeah, you're right, Alexander. It's going to be NFT soon. 
Do you know what I was just thinking about? You, while, you, while you're a few letters away. <laughs> this is only for new sneakers over 150 US dollars or more and pre-owned conditions sold for 300 US dollars or more. 